Okie dokie, well, hi everybody, and cast time once again. And then what you're seeing here, this is get, the background is gonna be the Minneapolis Skyway. So it's a, um, it's this whole kind of a kind of a whole walkable interstate system down in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It uh, it links together like a whole bunch of skyscrapers and stuff. Um, I think uh, the whole of it, if you try to traverse it, it would be like 11 miles long. Yeah, I think I read that right. It's about an 11 mile long hike. Like if you try to, again, if you try to walk all of it. Now, I actually was trying to find as footage as close to that as possible, but there weren't any, There, I couldn't find any. Um, it it kind of makes sense because I mean, you want, I couldn't see anybody trying to, trying to walk the whole 11 mile ordeal in like, in like one video, so totally understandable but um but again let me rewind back a little bit uh, the what you're looking at now is the best i could find um most of these videos were just we're just talking about it, like hi we're here at the minneapolis skyway and it's 11 law it's an 11 log structure or an 11 mile log structure too man that's a whole lot of walking well thanks for watching you know that kind of thing it is like a total waste of a video um, there was like an, there was like another one. It just, they totally fucked up the video. It just, they had their watermark like, <clears throat> like uh, just to the right of center. It became a distraction. And they had this, boots, 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 boots. they had this kind of electoral pop music that I hear at work every day. So yeah, they totally ruined that. Um, I think somebody called them out on it about five minutes into that video, because then the. The watermark got put like in the upper right corner and there was no music at all but but that's five minutes wasted but anyway <coughs> and yes you are going to be hearing that a lot um i'm almost over my cold but um i'm still hacking it up every so often so and uh because of what because of the scenery um there's probably not going to be any time stamps on here because I'm just going to be talking all over the place, checking stuff out and that kind of thing. Um, this is what I usually do when I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. So, stuff like this is great filler. And it's also great when when the place where, where I really want to visit is like 50, 75 miles away from where I live. And as gas prices are like four bucks a gallon here, I ain't doing it. So... Thank God these videos exist. So, but otherwise, let me go ahead and get this underway. Oh. Now, one big drawback to this place, or to this video here, is there's gonna be a lot of edits. It's a 15-minute video, so I'm gonna try to keep. I'm gonna try to keep keep my cast, or try to keep what I want to say, down to a minimum. But otherwise, for today, um, my usual pinball stream, it was all pinball arcade this time. Um, tried playing FX3, but if you checked out any of my other cast videos, you knew that most likely FX3 crashed, which it did. Um, and when that usually happens, the DX11 version of pinball arcade also crashes. So just... So basically, I just went right on to DX9 Arcade. Um, just, I, I think it was like a three-hour or so stream. Like I said, it, they a lot of edits. But yeah, it's, but overall, good stream. Um, I think I managed to get, I managed to place in the top five high scores on a few of the tables. I'm going to take a drink of some water here. Um, but yeah, like I said, hell, as, as of one edit was bad enough, I want to pause this, so I want to pause this. But this is what, I want to show this. Back up, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. There we go. But yeah, this is, um, this is the view from outside. And if you can see across, if you can see across from here, 
there's another another uh, part of the Skyway. Um, I'd say you're about, I want to say you're about 30, 40 feet above ground. So, but like I said, um, this whole Skyway, it's, um, it's just, um, I want to, for a walkable highway system, for lack of a better phrase. Dayton's project. <clears throat> um, but yeah, but, uh, but once again, um, pretty good session. And then probably the best part of it, though, is I found out, um, at some point during the stream that I no longer need to wear my headphones. And, um, that was something else I wanted to say, too. Um, the headphones I normally use, well, I had to retire them. Because, um, uh, I was trying to do a video um, from a gameplay demo called uh, Mega Knockdown. It's a turn-based fighting game. But well, anyway, I keep getting, um... Time to go to Dayton and spend our lawns in the basement. Can you say love beads? Well, I kind of wish you would turn around over there and read the whole thing. But yeah, I had to... I had to retire those headphones and I had to pick up my, uh... My spare ones, which are really bad, like the wire is only like maybe five, six feet long, just barely long enough to go from my head to the computer. So yeah, those got in the way. So I pick um, Kitaro 87, um, one of my longest standing reg regulars. Um, one of my just we've known each other for probably almost seven years now. So. But he him he uh, kind of helped me out a little bit on this. But um, I started uh, I started fidgeting with the OBS settings a little bit, the OBS audio settings, and um, I actually rigged it to where I no longer need the headphones now. Cause for the longest time, a big problem I've been ha or let me let me rewind a little bit. Um, I have tried to resolve the issue before, but <clears throat> what it result what it resulted in was a very echoey video. Um, my um, my OBS, it would capture both the game itself or the video or whatever, yeah, the game itself or whatever it is I'm playing and whatever my microphone was picking up. So I'm probably not explaining this right. It makes sense in my head, but I just, I kind of, I kind of learned that, um, or for the longest time, I thought my computer, it it can only one it can only run one one audio output source at a time. It couldn't run two or more at once. I just found out that you could. So so what I did was um I think I went on the like the like I said, this might take me a while to explain. It totally made sense inside my head. But I tried, I think I rigged it to where OBS would, um, it would capture my microphone, but not my external speaker. So, like I said, I, I found a way to, so now OBS captures, it can capture the audio coming from the computer itself. And not from the external speaker that I'm using, because, like, like I said, I thought um. I thought I, I thought it was only one or the other, either or, like, it it, it'll capture either my external speaker, or my computer, but not both. Or. Get the cold shoe shine. Oh damn! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me rewind back a little bit. That's a shoe shine area. Okay. Hey, that's kind of cool. So yeah, like like a, once again to kind of reiterate, I for the longest time I thought you could uh, I thought you could only run either one output source or another, but not like both at the same time. But apparently, um, that's what my computer's been doing all this time. It's been um, 
it's been using uh, two different output sources. So what I just went ahead and did is um, leave, this, leave the external speaker on and then just um, rig my OBS to where it's only capturing what's on my microphone and what's in the computer itself. Be like the internal speaker, I guess you could call it. The internal speaker, but not the external speaker. So, but yeah, that definitely one of those things are I wish I knew then what I knew now. If I'd have known you could have done this like seven years ago when I first started streaming, man, this would have saved me a ton of headache. Could have saved me up. Seven years of uh, having my head getting squished by freaking headphones. To say nothing of the fact that, uh, especially with my uh, my spare ones, the audio quality was ass. I never thought it could get any worse. I mean, all the headphones that I've listened out of over the years, they're just, they're you know, all the audio, the all the audio sucked. I figured the uh, the the spare head the spare five dollar pair of headphones that I got wouldn't have been any different, but boy was I wrong. Well, so we're at UPS and GNC. And I think there was um when I Oh there's a target here too. Okay. And um I think when I checked out another part of this video, there's actually um there's actually a medical center in here too, like a hospital. <coughs> or I wrote what not really say hospital, but a clinic. I'm going to take another drink of water. So, but like, but, but, um, but yeah, this huge quality of life upgrade for me right here. Just being able to stream, being able to create content without having to without having to have a pair of headphones over my on my head. So, hand up and center for the out. Oh! Uh, why is it slowing down? Okay, there it goes. Huh. But yeah, um, not a, uh, this isn't something I wouldn't want to add to my bucket list, but yeah, that'd be cool as hell. Mayo Clinic Square? Okay, so we do have a full-blown hospital in here. Never knew that. I wonder if they have, uh, I wonder if there's any uh, residential areas in here. Like, maybe like little apartment complexes. Courts? I wonder if that's a uh, tennis courts or something. Yeah, okay. well, maybe they have a maybe they have like some grocery stores in here or something. I mean, this whole this whole skyway uh, runs about eleven miles. It'd be kind of cool if they did. T wolves. But, um, I guess, um, last thing I do need to bring up, um, but yeah, this, um, this is going to be my last cast video for the week, and, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it run. So, like I said, this is going to be my last cast video for the week. So, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, um, I'll be at work, um, it's from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh, wait, no, 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 that wasn't, um. That wasn't the Target store. That was a uh, Target Field. Yeah. Yeah, Target Field. It's where Target Center. It's where the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves play. Um, whereas, in case anyone's curious, I don't really follow basketball. Not one of my favorite sports. Um, that is reserved for rugby. Now, I think they have, um, I think they have, like, Minnesota, uh, Minnesota rugby teams around here somewhere. I think I actually looked into it like a year or two ago. Uh, for some reason, it fizzled out, though. So, but anyway, um, getting back on subject. Um, last cast for the week. Um, 
I Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm at work from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m., so you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning, so, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. I hope I like, hope you liked what you saw as much as I did, so, but, like, but, but until next time, everybody, take care, and I'll see you all again.